All right, guys, so this morning after the reset, we got some more in-game previews for some of the events that are coming for part three of the Worldwide Celebration, some of which we already knew about and some of which we didn't. So with that said, let's opt into the news here and find out exactly what's going on. And uh, we'll just start from the top here with some new stages that are coming for this Extreme Z area event. It says new stages will be added to the challenge event Extreme Z Area Fight Battle for the Strongest in the Universe. And the units that are getting their Extreme Z areas, or sorry, their Extreme Z Awakenings this time, are all five of the type metal coolers. So we got the AGL one, the Tech one, the Int one, the STR one, and of course also the Fizz one. And I think a lot of people had expected this to happen, but it's nice to see it officially confirmed in game now. And uh, guys, I'm super, super excited for these EZAs because I think this team is going to be really fun to run. As you can see, I already got my team set up and ready to go. I've been working on their links too. Hopefully by the time that these uh, Extreme Z Awakenings drop, I'll have them close to maxed out. I don't think it's going to happen because, you know, it takes a while to like fully level 10 all the links, right? But we should be close. We should be close, so look forward to that showcase um, very soon. So that is the first thing. Now from there, uh, we have some new stages for uh, Ultimate Red Zone right here, the Wicked Bloodline Edition, of course. But it says Stage 5 of Ultimate Red Zone Wicked Bloodline Edition is coming soon. Form teams you can take pride in and reign victorious in unprecedented battles against formidable foes <laughs> stay tuned for the new stage so essentially based on this image here you can see there is a core cooler in the back which i'm 99 percent sure we haven't faced yet in red zone so i'm assuming that stage five is going to be against the uh you know core metal cooler so that's going to be interesting the uh, last couple of stages were actually not too bad in my opinion at least relative to like other red zone stages. So I do expect this one to be the hardest. So that's gonna be fun. And uh, yeah, new stage for red zone coming soon. From there, we have some new stages for the fighting spirit of the Saiyans and pride of the wicked bloodline. Two new stages to be exact. One versus the uh, core metal cooler and an uh, another one facing the Goku, you would assume, right? So. Uh, yeah, these two stages are also dropping on the 21st along with everything else. And uh, we're also going to be getting a special title once we complete all the stages, which you guys saw in that producer's letter from last night. If you guys haven't seen that, feel free to go check it out. I'll put a link somewhere over my head. All right, so new stages for the Saiyans and Wicked Bloodline event. We also got new stages of this story event dropping, which will allow us to... Get this new guide robot or guide robo uh, support item, which delays a single targeted enemy's attack for one turn and lowers that enemy's attack by 66% for two turns. So it's basically like it's basically like a ghost usher and a nurse Chi Chi in one, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> That's kind of wild. So this is arguably one of the best, maybe the best support item in the game now. Um, if not, it's definitely up there. It's definitely going to be a staple, I think, for a lot of people's super battle road runs and uh, any other event where you can debuff the enemy's attack, right? Because this is very, very powerful. Like this, this, this item is, is amazing. So yeah, guide robo support memory available from the new stages for the story event and then we also have new dragon ball story coming soon the strongest rivals will soon be added to dragon ball story so we're getting new stages for dragon ball story for the final form cooler event or sorry the uh, final form cooler movie and uh we're also getting a new support memory which is cruel provocation which they don't explain what it does here but if i remember correctly it's a 10% attack and defense buff to Wicked Bloodline for two turns or something like that. So 
There is the new Final Form Cooler Support Memory from the new Dragon Ball Story. And last but not least, we got 20 stones for uh, essentially giving the money for this celebration. So 20 stones, tons of thanks for uh, supporting the Dokkan Festival X Legendary Summon Carnival. And uh, I guess if you count this as top grossing stones, then it's, you know, a total of 27 stones for, for top grossing, kind of. I mean, I think JP got this too, so it's still not exactly balanced between the two sides, but gotta look on the bright side, guys. You gotta, you gotta be positive. So let's just say this is just top grossing stones, part three. So you add it to the 20, we got 27 top grossing stones for part two. Let's go with that. So yeah, 20 free stones in your box if you guys haven't collected those yet. And that is essentially everything that we got, I think, at reset last night. Um, in case you guys missed it, we are getting a new chain battle as well for Goku and Vegeta. And uh, in my video yesterday, I did talk about you know which units, which teams are the most effective. So feel free to go see that if you guys are curious. And I guess that's gonna do it. I guess that's gonna do it now. Because, because I said I considered these tons of thanks stones as top grossing stones, you guys know that means that we got a summon, right? Because every single time we get top grossing stones, we got a summon. And since I said that these stones are basically top grossing stones, we got a summon. So let me just quickly buy some, buy some stones here, enough for a full round, and uh, I'll be right back. Here we go, guys. So. I was kind of going back and forth in my mind about which banner would make more sense for me to summon on because on the one hand, I do need more copies of a lot of these featured units on this banner, but on the other hand, I want more dupes of Metal Cooler more than I want dupes of Goku and Vegeta, but I think the smart thing to do would be to summon on the Dokkan Fest banner since a lot of these units are more useful and just better than the featured units here so for once for once I'm gonna be smart guys I'm gonna be smart and summon on the better banner for me so I can get more cells I can get more Frieza's I can get my uh, first copy of Krillin and Gohan as well and also of course more Goku and Vegeta's so we're gonna pull down here feel free to jump in for a group summon pause the video if you have to and let's get it in three Two, one, better rip. Here we go. Four multis. Hopefully, we at least get a featured unit in uh, one of these multis. I'm not gonna lie. I did do some ill-advised off-camera summons, and uh, it reminded me why I never do that. It reminded me why I never do that because if I did it on a video and I get shafted, at least there's content. But when I do it off-camera and I still get shafted, I got nothing. It's just sadness. It's just pain. So I'm gonna stop doing off-camera summons. It's just not the, the, the greatest thing. It's not, it's not the best thing to do. Okay, so this is looking a little bit rough. This is looking a little bit rough. We got no combos, no animations, Oh uh, man, I should have I should have stopped at uh at my last summoning video, actually. I should have stopped at um the previous top grossing summons where we got at least the LR Goku and Gohan. Like that was a pretty good pull. And now I'm pushing my luck a little bit. Now I'm pushing my luck just a little bit. Now, it doesn't mean we can't get anything in these last two multis, but I just don't feel it guys. I just don't feel it. I think it's because it's not actually top grossing stones. Yeah. Fusion here, maybe? Oh, come on. Thank you. Okay, we're going... We're going Vegito. I was going to say blue. I was hoping it was blue, but it doesn't matter. There's still a decent chance we get an LR with all the featured featured LRs. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's because these aren't actually top grossing stones, so we don't actually have any of that top grossing luck, you know? But we'll see. We'll see what this uh, fusion brings us right here, right now. Come on.
What's it gonna be, guys? Oh, come on. No. Oh, that's not what you want. That's not what you want. I mean, that's not what I want, of course. Still a good unit, don't get me wrong. Still a good unit. Just not um, really necessary anymore. Okay, back to back fusions. Back to back fusions. Let's go. Nope. Okay. But there you have it, guys. There you have it. Sometimes uh, you gotta know when to stop. And I, I did not know when to call it. And now I'm paying for it. So if you guys got at least one copy of each of the LRs, then be smart. Don't be dumb like me. Okay, don't be dumb like me. Just, just, just take it and run. Just take it and run. So you don't have to deal with garbage like this. Ah, <sighs> well, that's how the game goes sometimes, guys. That's how the game goes sometimes. I'm good. It's whatever. And uh, that's gonna do it for today's video. I wanted to give you guys some, you know, bonus summons at the end there. Hopefully, uh, well, the, the idea was to pull some fire, but it didn't happen. And that's okay. That's okay. So, um, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.